I mean, look at this. It's got a silver birch growing through it. That's just mad, that is. Absolutely mental. Steering wheels, when are truly part of the tree. It's now a type tree. Oh, Chris. This is now a type tree. So this location has obviously got plenty of cars for everybody. Um, there's a lot of people here because it's like it is a tourist attraction and there's obviously people still working here. Now a lot of the cars here are here because of apparently ex uh, servicemen. But there's like this there's a lot of stories, there's a lot of stories, there's a lot of American vehicles here, European vehicles here, you know, the, the list just goes on. But also another reason why the cars could possibly be here is again, it's said that when they change from right-hand drive to left-hand drive, no, left-hand drive to right-hand drive, a lot of these cars were surplus. But again, there's lots of stories. I'm not gonna beat around the bush and just tell you this and that and that and this. I'm just gonna get into the cars because that's why you're here and have a good look at them. Uh, and this is going to be a two-part series, a Saturday and a Sunday, because there's that many cars here that it's just going to leave you speechless. So it's too big to just do one video. So without further ado, we're going to get into it and uh, show you what's around. The first car I spotted that is actually a 2002 BMW. But over here, there's a, I'm pretty sure, a Volvo Amazon and a VW Beetle. So we'll have a look at those now. Look at these. I'm sure that's a Volvo Amazon. Look at this beetle. Wow. This place is just unreal. Proper tourist attraction. Blows your mind, it really does. Now, like I mentioned, this place is, uh, because this place has so many cars, I'm not going to go around every single vehicle in full detail because it would just take me a month or some days. I mean, have a look. There's so many cars. This is said to be the biggest European car graveyard, which is, as you can tell, something special. I'm quite interested in the cars that are in the bushes, to be fair. I don't even know what half of these cars are. That's a Saab. 
That's one million percent of Saab, I'm almost certain. Wow. The trees, the, the cars just go for, like forever into the trees. I think this is brilliant, I do. Look at this. That looks like an old Studebaker. Again, I don't really know. That is cool, that is. So this is the type of place you come with a fantastic camera and I've come with <laughs> a GoPro. But that, that is brilliant, that is. Absolutely exceptional. Let me look at this old car over here. Beautiful. Look at that for a picture. You just can't make this, pla make this stuff up. This is just well worth the trip. Lots of beers. Well worth the trip. I'm in my element. I am absolutely in my element. Most of the badges have been taken off, so you can't really tell what, what's what. The old filler, fuel filler cap there. I mean, the scenery is just breathtaking. There's more cars over there. We'll have a look. We're just going to... Just keep walking around and just do what we can do because there's so many cars here. So many cars. 504, yeah? Maybe a I know where there's a bunch of 505s. Yeah. I know that. Yes. The rallies. Right, well, they look like rallies. Unreal. Good old She's test. still got oil, which is brilliant. I'm not going to uh, check every dipstick on every car, ladies and gents, because I will be here until the cows come home and I don't own any. Oh yeah, some Mercedes. Unreal. Ah. Yeah. Oh, the sign? Yeah. Information. This is private property. You are welcome to visit the car park, but leave the house alone. This was a fully functional vacation, vacation house in 2007. But after 300 burglaries, does it look this way? Oh, basically, all, loads of people breaking all in. All visitations are at your own risk. A lot of the cars were put up on each other in the 50s and 60s. So hazard falling cars we ain't gonna touch the house it was never my attention to go near the house so this is a 190d old so it is a permission uh yes yeah, cool it's cool permission base mm. an old 190d amazing i love a good old uh, mercedes now i absolutely love vw beetles and vw beetle vw beetle vw VW Beetle. No wonder this place is a tourist attraction. And I'm quite glad that the chap, Thomas, actually allowed this to be a tourist attraction because, you know, letting people come here and record limits the damage and limits the theft. Do you know what I mean? So we've got a VW Beetle there. We have a Type 3 here, another Type 3. Now I love these. I like the fastbacks too, but these are just brilliant because of these fins here. These are really cool surf cars. Surfboard on the top, beautiful. I'd almost, yeah, definitely. I almost, ah. Uh, two more there. Oh, is there? There's two more. Uh, over there, another beetle there too. Look, there's two more type threes over there. As you can see, ladies and gents, we can't physically go through. Sorry, not so fast, lovely. As you can see, ladies and gents, we can't physically go through every single car with fine detail because it's going to take us a month of Sundays. So we're just going to glance through them. So I do apologise if you see a car and you're screaming at me saying, look at that car, because it's just near impossible. I mean, you know me, I want to go through every single car with fine detail, but it's not going to happen. So um, we're just going to walk around and just point the camera and shoot. So I do apologise. <laughs> There's a lot of cars here that you just can't even tell what they look like. I mean, some of them are American and some of them are obviously European. I mean, some are just so cool. So, so cool. And, oh, these so just breaks my heart. These do anyway. And most of these cars are dead. I mean, just look at, look at the talent. 
Another type three there, look. It's got a silver birch growing through it. That's just mad, that is. It's absolutely mental. Steering wheels, when a truly part of the tree. It's now a type tree. Oh, wow. Unreal. I mean, these seats looked like they were in bad condition, really. That's silver birch. This is probably one of the best, best car grave. Well, no, this is the best car grave graveyard I've ever, be I've ever been to. Especially when Mother Nature is part of it all. Unreal. So there's a big, big collection of cars down here. Um, we haven't done this particular part. But we are here now. Again, these are all kind of um, 50s, 60s cars. An awful lot here. An awful lot hidden as well. Lots of cars, <laughs> an awful lot of cars. None are really like, you know, kind of the cars to shout out, shout home about. They're all kind of, you know, they've all basically had it. Not really anything remotely interesting. Some very, very old cars down there. I think that's a DS over there. But nothing really worth writing home about. I mean, there are some really, there are some desirable cars here, some desirable classics, but not nothing really, you know. I mean, if there wasn't this many cars here, it, I don't think it would be worth coming to see. But there are a heck of a lot of decent cars to look at. We found Cortinas, we found BMWs, we found VWs, we found some rare Fiats, a lot of rare Saabs. Um, yeah, a lot of rare cars. But there's also an abundance of cars that aren't really, really desirable. It's just shot after shot after shot of it. Um, Sorry car, I've just, you know, average cars. But yeah, is that another Cortina there? Is it another Cortina? Let me just check the back, I don't think it is. It might be though. No, it's not. I thought it was for a second. That's still a cool picture though, the boots full of old beers, old bottles of uh, miscellaneous alcohol but the one thing that the one thing that stands out to me at this location which I love is all the classic Volkswagens it's definitely in my opinion more Volkswagen-y than anything else uh, but there are cars from all over the globe here it's just not one set of cars for one kind of location and I think that that to me speaks volumes because there's something here for everybody and this is exactly why everybody has came to look at these cars um, I'm glad I took the trip, I'm glad I got on the plane and I'm glad I got my two friends with me to kind of, you know, experience this with this is probably one of my favourite favourite images there's a classic VW with a silver birch growing out of it it's now a type tree <laughs> Well, so I haven't looked at this part, I walked straight past it. I mean, Chris spotted this 2002 up there and I was meant to look at it, but I didn't even, I walked straight past it. Really old Beetle. It's a sad old thing, isn't it? 2002 and a Triumph Herald. Where's the Triumph Herald? There. Wow. <laughs> so at least we've got some British talent here. And you can see from the bonnet, look. Triumph, unreal. Wow. Isn't that what they use the Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah. They ain't gonna do no pottering about it anymore. And this 2002 here, my goodness. Mate. It's a 
Yeah. Quite a shame, yeah. isn't it? That's chance. We, we, we fixed that in the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the mileage? Oh, the clocks have been robbed. Look at this, man. Look at the talent. <laughs> BMW 2002. Sat there dying. Well, dead. Still got one headlight, though. Now, I don't normally put stickers anywhere. It's not my thing, but it's everybody else's thing. And now, there's lots. There's lots of stickers there, so it's a, it's a known thing and it's an okay thing, but I didn't bring any stickers. Do you know what, ladies and gents? I got a sticker. <laughs> Come on, then, chance. Come on, let's go. Lumberjack man. Making a very bad We've got a head up there. Where are we going? Right there. Right there. And this sticker will come off. Oh, it's not going to stick. <laughs> you know what? It makes no difference. That's peeling. It just looks like I've been there the longest. <laughs> oh, there we go, ladies and gents. So this, this is this is the best part apparently the cars and the trees lots of old vws lots of old vws is that a cortina yeah. no way there's a few over there isn't there that's unreal cortina ladies and gents cortina now we're in the, the, the wooded part of the location, which is supposed to be the best, the best part of the location. What's the matter? No, I someone's... <laughs> the tyre over that tree. Wow. And then that, I thought, someone put that on there. That's but... grown up, isn't it? Through the, through the tree. <laughs> yeah, this is the best part of the location. So, well, to, be, to me personally, there's, there's just no bad, good or bad part. I mean, it, it's all brilliant for me. Volkswagen Beetle. Very early Volkswagen Beetle. Have you seen this? That that Beetle front end has been consumed by these this silver birch. It's not even a silver birch, but it's been consumed. Absolutely unreal. I want to get right in there. I do. <laughs> oh my goodness. See our Richard Hammond. And we got Lily the Volvo behind you. There's uh, Oliver's cousin. Oliver and Olivia's cousin. No way. <laughs> I love this place. What's the mileage on this old girl? The mileage is 68,116 kilometers. So hardly anything. I mean, look at the scenery, ladies and gents. I mean, it is littered in car parts, but just a beautiful scenery. Let's go and see what Chris has found, because he, he got me a bit excited. Well, so careful, because he's just nearly fell in the river. Oh, you fell in the drink? Another Saab there. Is that a Saab? Yeah. Or Volvo? Oh, no, I think that's another one of them little Volvo. Volvos, yeah, little Volvo. Did you any Just the old parts store. Wow. That is madness. That has been rinsed through like you yeah, wouldn't believe. It's been ransacked. Watch your step. All right, so Chris has found something very exciting, ladies and gents. Well, I saw it from here. Yeah. And thought, no, can't be. Oh, wow. But it is. Is it a, an estate? Yeah. Ladies and gents. <laughs> but midway, it's like a stream, so be careful. Modernish stuff. Oh, real. It's an estate too. It's definitely in a state. Wow. Look how polluted it is. Oh, that's rust water that is. Got a whole old bus there. It's in the old bus. No way. 
Great fire, Chris. One of the best so far. I just saw that chopped front panel and thought, no. An 80s Saab there. This one here? Early 900 shape. Oh gosh, she looks like she's been there since the 50s. Yeah, it does. It's look. got quite a lot of the original paint on. From the front, you can tell what it more. You can tell more what it is. You oh wow, yeah, look at that. That corner of that wing. It's a 900, isn't it? It's yeah. like a really early one, yeah. Yeah, no, 900. But that looks like it's been there forever, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Oh man, unreal. Absolutely unbloody real. Right, cross the uh, the rusty stream onto the rusty wing and into this absolutely cool as F old bus. And chance is a. Uh, Next here. up, please. Got a chance. I'm not gonna lie, this is more comfortable. This actually goes across across the stream. This is more is Yeah. This is more comfortable than the airplane. Oh it's no, it doesn't actually. It sits above the stream, by the stream. What do you say? Put your red out the window, that's about two Cortina. I've, yeah, I've just spotted that, the red one. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gents. Mark II Cortina. This and there's a mini there, look. Is it a mini? Uh -huh. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. Mate, this is this is just like blow my expectations, hasn't it? Surprising. And here's this thinking all the cars are gone. Oh yeah, possibly. Look how far it goes though, man. It's look, mental. Look at the mini. That poor mini. Could you sell could you fix that? Two weekends, mate, three grand. <laughs> There's mattresses here. Look at that Cortina. <laughs> I'm crying, I am, I'm, but my heart's broken. I don't think I'm connected. <laughs> Driving the bus. There's a mini. And I suppose... What else you spot, Chris? I suppose as soon as I'm here. Yeah. I might as well film a mini. Look at the mini. Um, because I don't see enough mini. Look, the gearbox is actually still working. Um, but that wow. is a VW bus. Or what's left of a VW bus, yeah. I believe. Across there it would say Volkswagen. No way. Yeah. Old VW uh, camper bus there. Uh, old VW van there. Another VW van here. That old bus. Mark II Ford Cortina. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. And this is just one one hell of a surreal lo 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 experience. Got a mini there. This has to be one of the best locations ever. And I've said that so many times, I, I do apologize. I'm just, I am shocked. Could you imagine living on that bus though? How cool it would be to live on that bus. If you got it all fixed up and looking cool. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't live in this mess, but me, I personally would. I think it's fantastic. Look how far that bus has sunk. I mean, you got to understand these tires here, they sit up like up here. This thing has sunk. Put the light on. Turn it up a minute. There you go. This thing has sunk something terrible. This bus is so cool. Oh, I'm stuck on a tree. So, so cool. Unbelievable. I mean, just look at the cars. Another VW bus there. So there's a location. Uh, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's in America where they had hundreds of VW uh Beetles and camper campers and I really wanted to go and see that location, but I believe all those VWs are now gone uh, Because of the tourism and all the vandal people vandalizing and stealing things they were completely they're all like sh Moved and scrapped and whatever else. This is one of those locations that could Potentially have the same fate So if you do come to this location, please, please respect it respect it Respect it with your life because th these places aren't going to exist forever. I mean, look at it.
Unreal. Unreal. Well then, let's keep looking. <laughs>